Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you our evening routine when we're away on holiday. In my last video, I asked you guys what you'd like to see while we're away, and this video was by far the most requested. So I hope you enjoy it, because our evening routine on vacation is very different from our evening routine when we are at home. Without further ado, let's get into my routine. So the weather has been amazing while we've been here, and we've spent most of our days by the pool, but by about 5 p.m., the boys get quite tired and we end up hanging out on our sun loungers. I'll also normally get a cocktail at about this time, so I've got a mojito today and Jackson and I are cheersing. And then I will start clearing away all of our pool toys. I brought loads with us and they end up getting everywhere. Then we'll make our way back to our room and once we're back at the room, I will normally rinse out the swimming costumes and then go out onto the balcony, tidy up any of the clothes that are dry from the day before and then hang out all of the clothes that are wet from the day. Once everything is out and drying, we'll normally make our way to the bedroom and I'll turn on the TV, something like Disney Juniors, because the boys are so tired after their day of swimming, they just wanna relax and hang out for a little while before we get ready. And while they are chilling out, I'm gonna take this opportunity to have a bath myself. We have the most amazing Whirlpool bath in our room and tonight I need to shave my legs. I do this every four nights or so and I'm using the Bic Soleil range. I have their razors and also their shave gel. I mentioned these in my packing video. These are my favorite razors to use and I love the gel as well. I get really good results. I also love that they're really bright colors. I wanted to show you. I like how quick and easy the Bic Soleil products are to use and I feel like when I use them in conjunction with each other, I get the best results. So I basically just whack on the gel. It lathers up really, really nicely and then I can shave my legs in about 10 minutes. Oh, and my big toe, TMI. And, um, and then I can go back to enjoying my holiday with my family. Family. It's so quick and easy to do. I get really smooth legs from using it and I just think that these are a great product and they're so affordable. I'll put some links in the description if you want to check them out and find out more. And although these are disposable razors, I personally will end up using these for a good week or two. I can use them for multiple shaves. I don't know if that's just me, but I find that they last quite well. Once I'm done shaving, I will add some toys to the bath and then get the boys in. While we've been on holiday, I've actually been bathing with the boys and it's been so nice. I can easily clean them, wash their hair, get all of the chlorine off of them and also wash myself and my hair if I need to. I'm not washing my hair tonight. I've been trying to wash it every other day here. It has been quite difficult to keep it dry some days. Um, but so tonight I'm just gonna wash all of the boys' hair. Jackson also needs his conditioned because it's so curly. But um, yeah, look at the boys' tan lines. They've had so much sun. Um, so yeah, I'm then gonna condition Jackson's hair, rinse all of their hair and just get them all clean. And yeah, it's been really special having a bath of them every night. Matt normally has a shower while we're having a bath and then helps me get the boys out and dried. Jackson loves to have a cuddle once he's got out of the bath. He's so snuggly when he's in his towel. And then I will moisturize the boys as well just to help with the effects of the sun and the chlorine and everything else. And then I will quickly brush Jackson's hair through with my wet brush. I have learned with curly hair, you can only brush it when it's wet. So I always do that and then I will moisturize myself. I've been moisturizing my whole body every night trying to hang on to that tan. <laughs> Then Matt is gonna get the boys dressed while I do my makeup and hair. So I'm gonna brush my hair through with my wet brush and then put on my foundation. And for it, I'm using my Estee Lauder Double Wear. I use this in 3N1 and I really like it. It's quite full coverage, but I quite like that. And then for concealer, I'm using my Clarins Instant Concealer. This is the one I use at home and I just find it very brightening. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of pink to the apples of my cheeks. And this is from a Charlotte Tilbury palette. It. And then I'm also going to use the bronze in that to contour a bit and I'm contouring the same way that I always do I do my forehead um, Underneath my cheekbones and then a little bit under my chin and then maybe a bit of neck and decollete as well um, And I've also been using this darker palette again from Charlotte Tilbury and then for my eyebrows I'm using this very old gimme brow. It's so old that the name has actually rubbed off the packaging But I have my eyebrows tinted and waxed at home, so I don't 
don't need too much product. For eyeshadow, I'm using Jean from Charlotte Tilbury. It's a liquid one, and you can just put it on with your fingers. It's very quick and easy to use. And then for lipstick, I am using Charlotte Tilbury again, and this is Walk of Shame, the color. And then for my hair, I'm just really quickly going to put it around this little Babyliss hair curler. I will leave my hair on there for about five seconds, and then I'm gonna put on my dress, and then my heels as well. These are some old gold Kurt Geiger wedges, and I really like them. And then we're gonna make our way out for the evening. We're off out for dinner now, and tonight we're going for Italian food. We've been to the buffet a couple of nights, but we thought we would book one of the speciality restaurants tonight. Um, and I, to be totally honest with you, I chose to wear this dress because it's very forgiving and I plan to have a really nice big Italian meal. So we're just on our way there now, but before we get there, I'll show you what we're all wearing. If you're interested, I mean, you might not care at all. Tonight I'm wearing this flowery dress from H&M. It's really old, but it's a favorite of mine. Hawaiian shirt. This is from Next. This pink shirt is from Next. This was Fraser's when he was your age. <laughs> they both got their Sorry, denim guys. shorts on from River Island. And their trainers, where were their trainers from? Uh, Zara. From Zara. It is cool as mine. Jackson has a little baby blue t-shirt on from Next. Zara shorts and these really cute jellies which I will link down below. I think you can get them on Amazon, but they are great because they are Velcro. So they're really easy to put on. Then the kids are gonna scoot to the restaurant. I can barely keep up with these kids. I feel like I am forever chasing boys and I'm sure the hotel really love that we brought these scooters. But they have a very beautiful square in the middle with fountains and we are sitting right here at the Italian restaurant, which is actually great because with a 21 month old baby, he tends to get bored really easily and then we can run around the square. He can look at the fountains. He likes to chuck rocks into the fountain and just kind of run around before the food comes. So that has actually worked out really well for us. At dinner as well, we made a little friend who was trying to steal our bread. And for starters tonight, I'm having a tomato and mozzarella salad, and I'm also having a glass of wine. I've been doing this a lot on holiday. Matt is having the same starter as I am. And then for mains, I'm having lasagna. Matt is having a seafood pasta. And the boys, of course, are having pizza, which they're really happy about and really excited about. They love pizza so much. After dinner, we are off to the kids' entertainment. They have something here called Playhouse Live and my boys love it. It is dancing and singing and bedtime stories and all kinds of things and they really, really love it. And then if that wasn't enough, then we go on to another room which has bouncing castles in it. It also has stuff for the little ones. It has little puzzles for Jackson to do, coloring. It even has Nintendo for the older boys. It has um, discos going on. It has Just Dance, with which as you can see, Jackson really, really loves to get involved in. It also has connect four it literally has everything like your kids could never get bored here and then they also love playing hide and seek in the square afterwards behind these pillars and looking at the fountains these fountains actually dance to music so yeah there's just so much going on here it's been absolutely brilliant for the kids but by about 10 o'clock they are so tired so we're just gonna get the boys into their pajamas and then I'll put Jackson to bed he'll say goodnight to daddy and then I'll just rock him to sleep give him his blanket and put him down and then Matt will get the older boys toothbrush you can tell how very tired Fraser is here and that's it that's bedtime for the boys right so we've just got all the boys to bed and it is about 11 o'clock at night so the boys definitely stay up so much later when they're on holiday but thank you so much for watching this video I am just going to wash my face brush my teeth and turn in and I will of course put all the links down below if you want to check out the big products that I talked about earlier on in this video and yes thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye guys